Do you want to take a glimpse into the future and see what you might look like? There's an app for that. Yeah, but cybersecurity experts have a warning about the popular Face app. They say beware of what you might be giving up when you use programs like Face app. Fox 12's Sarah Hurwitz is live in studio with a look at how the program works and a look at some security tips as well, Sarah. Yeah, good evening. The pictures are definitely entertaining and they're fascinating, but one cybersecurity expert says that it is more than just a photo now that's vulnerable online. You simply put in a picture of yourself and voila. You can choose from a number of filters that generates an older picture of you or with facial hair or a different gender. I think it is so much fun. Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, well, it's like really interesting just seeing yourself like 50 years older. All of my friends, like yeah, all of Instagram, all of the stories are everybody's posting. Uh, these particular photos. The Face app is gaining popularity online as people get a kick out of seeing the changes. Even celebrities getting in on the fun. The Trailblazers posted these pictures and the Seahawks made sure to share theirs too. But what's really happening when you put your picture into the program? The pictures that you are taking and processing, that's not happening on the phone itself. It's being sent to a set of servers where that information is being manipulated and processed, and then the picture comes back to you. Mark Cooper is the president of PKI Solutions, a cybersecurity company. He says when you send that picture, you might not realize all of the information that goes along with it, like GPS location and even the type of device that you're using. He says many times these programs are for free, and that should send off your radar. You're giving them the ability to use your picture and marketing, or they may even be using it for other types of commercial purposes. So that should be in the terms of service, but not everybody reads through there. Not only does it give a company the rights to your picture, but there's now what's called deep fakes. These deep fakes have taken a very small snippet of someone's uh, video or even photo likenesses and can now manipulate them to a point where it's very difficult to tell if it's an authentic video, if it's what they actually said. And with FaceApp, which is a Russian-based company, many experts are saying that raises even more security concerns. Historically, there was always the, the idea of coercing a confession out of a, 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 an alleged conspirator or uh, an alleged spy because information has been shared by an individual through a face app or some other application that that's already available to another country to manipulate with machine learning and be able to create their own confession without ever actually coercing that out of someone. So what are some tips? Well, think about what information you're providing. Is there personal information or family members in the picture that you might not want out there publicly? And really think about why you're using the app and do some research on that company. We did also talk to some people today who said they recognize that risk and they won't be using programs like FaceApp. Reporting live here in studio, Sarah Hurwitz, Fox 12, Oregon.